Hello, good day. Ang pag-aaralan natin ngayon ay tungkol sa circle, kung paano hanapin yung radius at yung center. Here are our learning objectives. First is to define circle. Second, determine the different basic parts of circle. And lastly, is to find the center and radius of a circle given two distinct points. Now, let's have a review. Doon sa last meeting natin, sabi natin, circle is formed when this cutting plane is parallel to the base of the cones and it does not pass through this, the vertex of the cones. Kasi kapag ka yung, yung plane natin ay eksaktong nandun sa vertex, wala po siyang circle na mabubuo. It's only a point. So that is why sabi natin, the plane or the cutting plane does not, must not pass through the vertex okay, to form a circle. Now, this is the definition of circle. A circle is a set of points in a Cartesian coordinate plane that are at fixed distance from a fixed point. Now, this fixed distance is what we call the radius of the circle at yung fixed point na HK natin, yun ang tinatawag nating center. Now, here are the essential parts of the circle. First is the center and center of a circle is point inside it and equidistant to any point on the circle. Pag sinabi natin equidistant, pare-pareho sila ng distance. Okay? For example, in this figure, this point, okay, which is point C, has an equal distance to this point. Okay? And if we have another points here on the circle, so ang tawag natin dyan ay mga points on the circle, so, if this is the center, dapat yung distance nito tapos dun sa point na yan ay equal lang siya sa distance ng point na ito. Okay? And it must also the same with the other distances of the other points. Okay? So, that is all about center. Now, let's have this example. So, in this figure, obviously, the center of the circle is at 4, 3. Okay, next, another part of the circle is what we call the radius. And here is the example of radius. So we have, if we have a point on the circle which is P and the center is at C. Okay, so this is the radius of the circle. Okay, so we have also here, we can also make a radius here from C to R. We have also C, Q. And then, uh, pwede pa tayong gumawa ng another radius. So, yan yung mga radius natin. Okay. So, if you notice, yung radius natin ay composed of two points na yung dulo ay yung center saka yung point doon sa circle. Okay. So, the radius of a circle is a line segment. So, line segment siya whose endpoints or yung dulo ay nasa center at point on a circle. Okay? So, ito yun. Now, let's have our example here. So, suppose we are given this figure. So, what is the center of this circle? Obviously, it is 4, 3. Now, another part of the circle is what we call the radius. So, ito yung example ng radius natin. So, from point P to C. So, notice ito yung center natin. At yung P is 
a point on a circle. Okay, so when we connect these two points, then we can come up or we can create a radius. Okay, so notice na yung end points or yung dulo ng radius ay nasa center at yung isa naman ay nasa circle. Okay, so we can also make another radius connecting C to R. We can also make another radius connecting Q and C. And then we can create more radius. Okay, basta yung uh, point natin is on the circle at yung center. Okay, so again, the radius of a circle is a line segment whose end points or yung dulo daw ay nasa mismong center at point doon sa circle. Okay? So, it also refers to measure or length of the line segment formed by the center and a point of the circle. In this lesson, we will consider the latter. Okay? So, the radius of a circle is usually represented by R. So, ito yun, R. Now, suppose we have this figure. Okay? So, we all know that we can also create a radius connecting point F to C. So, if we have radius C, B, and has a length of 4, so alam natin na itong radius na to ay 4 units din, tapos yung radius na C and D ay 4 units din. Okay, also with this one, 4 units din yung mga yan, 4 units. Okay, so the center of the circle is 4 units away from B. Okay, 4 units. It is also 4 units away from uh, D and also to F and also to this one. So, ibig sabihin lamang yan, lahat ng radius natin doon sa circle ay pare-pareho. Okay? They are all equal. Next is diameter. Okay? So, this is the diameter. Uh, makikita natin na yung end points ay nasa circle. Yung end points, ulitin ko, yung end points ay nasa circle mismo. And then, dumaan dapat siya sa center. Okay? Or the midpoint ng segment na ito ay yung mismong center ng circle. Okay? So, that's diameter. So, diameter of a circle is a line segment that passes through the center. So, dumaan daw siya sa center. At yung dulo ng segment na yon ay dalawang points doon sa circle. So, ito yon yung A and B. At yung midpoint niya or yung nasa gitna ay yung mismong center ng circle. Okay? Next, for example, if we have this figure. Okay? So, alam natin na yung F and D is a diameter kasi it is a line segment na dumaan doon sa center. Okay? So, yung, yung length ng diameter daw natin ay 8 units. Okay? So, we have diameter DF or diameter FD. Okay? Let's proceed. So, we have the distance formula. So, meron yung pagkakataon na tatanungin tayo kung ano yung length ng radius at yung length ng diameter na ang given lamang ay dalawang points. Yun ay yung center at isang point dun sa circle or yung end points ng diameter mismo. So, para masolve natin yun, gagamitan natin siya ng distance formula. Okay? At yung distance formula ay na-derived sa Pythagorean Theorem ni Pythagoras. Okay? So, at yung distance formula natin ay ito. So, we have D equals the square root ng X sub 2 or yung dalawang X natin. Then, square plus yung dalawang Y natin. Pag minus lang, then square natin. Then, get D square root. Okay? Kung saan yung D natin is the distance between two points at yung x1 or x sub 1 tapos x sub uh, y sub 1 natin is yung first point. At yung x sub 2, y sub 2 ay yung second point. And next, so gagamitin natin yung distance formula. 
Okay, for example, what is the radius of a circle whose diameter endpoints are 15, 6, and 3, negative 4? Okay, so ang tinatanong ay yung radius. Ibig sabihin yung length ng radius. So, given lang ay yung endpoints ng diameter. Okay, so makukuha natin yung length ng radius. Pag nakuha natin yung length ng diameter, saka natin i-divide sa 2. Okay, so using the distance formula, find the length of the diameter. So una, mag-a-assign tayo. Okay, i-assign natin kung ano yung x sub 1, yung x sub 2. So let's have the assigning. So una, we're going to assign 15 and 6 as our x sub 2 and y sub 2. At yung itong point na to, 3, negative 4, yun naman yung x sub 1 tapos y sub 1 natin. Okay? Take note class na pwede ninyong i-interchange tong dalawang point na to. Ito yung pwedeng magiging x sub 2, y sub 2. Ito naman yung magiging x sub 1 and y sub 1 ninyo. Okay? So, pero in this video, gagamitin natin ito. Okay? So, using the distance formula, okay, let's just substitute. Okay, una, x sub 2. So, yung x sub 2 natin is 15. Okay? So, ilalagay natin dito. And then, itong 6 natin is the y sub 2. So, ilalagay natin dito. Okay? So, we have 6 here. The next, proceed to x sub 1. So, ang x sub 1 natin ay 3. So, yung papalitan natin yung x sub 1 ng 3. Okay? So, bakit minus? Kasi yung operation natin dito is minus. Ngayon, din sa y sub 1 natin, kung makita ninyo, magiging plus yan kasi negative yun or minus. So, if we multiply negative tapos negative, magiging positive siya. So, that's y plus 4. Then, copy the square. Now, the next step is to perform the operation inside the parentheses. So, 15 minus 3 is of course 12. And then, 6 plus 4 is of course 10. The next is square each item in the radicand. So, ano nga ba yung square ng 12? Take note class, hindi po yan 12 times 2. Ito po ay 12 times 12. Okay, so the, the answer is 144. Tapos ito naman, 10 square is 10 times 10 is 100. Then the next step is to simplify the radicand. So ipag plus lang natin, 144 plus 100. So that's 244. And then extract the square root. Okay, so ano nga ba yung square root ng 244? Pag, gagamit, pag gagamitin natin yung calculator, will come up with 2 square root of 61. Or pwede natin siyang i-rewrite into decimal form. Okay? At katumbas nyo yan is approximately equal to 15.62. Take note class na yung 15.62 ay yung length pa lang ng diameter. Ang tinatanong kanina sa atin ay yung length ng radius. So, para makuha yung length ng radius natin, i-divide natin yung diameter ng 2. Okay, so that is 2 square root of 61 all over 2. Or that is, cancel out 2. Ang natira is square root of 61. Then, rewrite it into decimal uh, form. We'll have 7.81. Or, pwede rin natin gamitin ito. So, we have 15.62 divided by 2. Using your calculator, will come up with 7.81. 81. So, yung final answer natin then is 7.81 units. Now, let's have another example. So, what is the radius of the circle in figure 12? Kung mapapansin ninyo, ang given lang ay yung center tapos yung point on a circle. Okay? So, ang gagawin natin is apply pa rin natin yung distance formula. Okay? And then, pag kinuha kasi natin itong length na ito ng segment is already the radius. Okay? Radius na po kasi yan. Sa so, kayo, papalitan natin yung D natin ng R. And then, take note also that since this is the center, papalitan natin yung uh, 
y sub 2, x sub 2 natin ng h, k. Okay? So, we'll come up with new formula. The radius is equal to the square root of x minus h squared plus y minus k squared. Take note, kapag kagiven lang yung center at yung isang point on a circle. Okay? So, yung r natin is the radius x sub y point of on the circle. Okay, ito yun. And then, yung hk natin represent uh, the center of the circle. Now, the solution is, let's have to assign each number. So, yung point natin on the circle muna. So, we have negative 6 as our x and yung 4 natin yung y. Then, proceed tayo dun sa center. hk naman. Yung h natin is yung 2. Ito yun yung una. And then, yung k natin must, is also 2. Okay? Then, let's proceed now to substitution. Okay? So, we have x which is negative 6. Yung, yung h natin is 2. Yung y natin is 4. Then, k natin is 2. Okay? So, bali yung magiging itsura. Okay? So, when we substitute. Next is to subtract the numbers inside the parentheses. So, negative 6 minus 2 is of course negative 8 squared. 4 minus 2 is 2. Then, square natin. Then, next is to square each item in the radicand. So, negative 8 squared, that's negative 8 times negative 8 will give us 64. And then, 2 times 2, okay, that's 4. Okay, then simplify the radicand so that 64 plus 4 will have 68. Okay, when you put it into a calculator, you will give it will give you 2 square root of 17 or in this decimal form is 8.25. So meaning the radius is approximately equal to 8.25 units. Next, let's have more example. The center of the circle is at negative 3 and negative 4. And one point on the circle is 2, 3. Find the length of the radius. So again, so we're going to find the radius okay, using the distance formula. So ang h, ang h natin is negative 3 since this one is the center, center. And then yung k natin is negative 4. Yung x, y naman natin is on the point on the circle. So, we're going to substitute each value. So, yung x natin is 2. Yung h natin is negative 3. So, okay. so i-rewrite nyo lang ng ganyan. So, kunin din natin yung subtraction symbol. And then, yung y natin is 3. Minus yung k natin is negative 4. So, yun. Then, copy this square. Now, we're going to simplify this subtraction or that's negative times negative. It becomes positive. Also, with this one, negative times negative becomes positive 4. Then, simplify now each parenthesis. So, we have 2 plus 2 is 5. Then, copy the square. 3 plus 4, that's 7. Then, copy the square. Then, simplify or square each term. So, 5 times 5, that's 25. 7 times 7, that's 49 and then add 25 plus 49 that's 74 okay or approximately equal to 8.68 now when the endpoints of the diameter of the circle are identified we can use the midpoint formula to find the center so for example in this um, line segment but given the yung dalawang point doon sa line segment na ito. Okay? And then, makukuha natin yung gitna ng line segment using the midpoint formula. So, yung midpoint formula natin is yung x para sa x, i-add lang natin yung dalawang x, value ng x, then divide by 2. Also with y, okay, i-add yung dalawang y, then divided by 2. Or, okay, pag natin, we have xm, kunin ito, I-add yung dalawang x divided by 2 and also to y. 
Okay? So, yan. Yung x sub m natin, y sub m, coordinates of the midpoint. The next, let's have this example. <clears throat> Suppose that we are given the circle and the midpoint or the, the center is at hk. Okay? So, t, if you're going to connect this, will have, of course, diameter. At yung diameter natin, sabi natin kanina, kanina, the midpoint is at the center also. Okay, so that is why yung center natin is the midpoint. So, yung H natin would be X sub 1 plus X sub 2 all over 2. At yung K natin, ito yun, so Y sub 1 plus Y sub 2 all over 2. And let's have this example. Find the center of the circle where diameter has endpoints negative 1, negative 1, negative 4, and 5. So, as you notice here, kung makikita natin, so ito yung dalawang point. Okay? Dalawang points, rather. To find for the center, of course, kukunin natin yung midpoint gamit yung formula. Okay? So, let's assign x sub 1, y sub 1 itong point na to. And then, ito yung x sub 2, then y sub 2. So, again, you can interchange these two. Pwedeng ito yung maging x sub 2, y sub 2. Ito yung x sub 1, y sub 1. So, depende sa gagamitin ninyo. Though, uh, parehas lang din naman yung kalalabasan na sagot. So, let's have this h muna. So, again, the formula for H is X sub 1 plus X sub 2 over 2. So, pag adin lang natin yung dalawang X. So, that is negative 1 and negative 4. Okay, so what is negative 1 plus negative 4? That's negative 5 all over 2. So, pwede na ito yung maging sagot natin. Or pwede rin naman sa decimal. Now, let's proceed to K. Ang K natin is Y sub 1 plus Y sub 2. So, i-add lang naman natin yung dalawang y. So, that's negative 1 plus 5. Now, simplify. Negative 1 plus 5, of course, positive 4 divided by 2. And then, simplify this. Negative, uh, 4 divided by 2, that's 2. Now, what is the center then? Using our formula, we have negative 5 over 2 and then 2. And then, ito yung magiging center. Now, let's have this practice exercise. Find the radius of a circle if its center is 2, negative 4, and 0. 0.42 on a circle. Okay, so again, given the center, that's HK at yung point natin a circle, that is XY. Okay, using our formula, okay, so we'll have yung yung x natin which is 4 then yung h natin is 2 so the substitute and then we have also our y which is 2 and then yung k natin is negative 4 so bakit naging plus yun? kasi this one is minus then this one is negative we combine these two or we multiply these two it becomes positive so pag, ang tandaan nyo lang pag negative yan Pag may negative na given, magiging plus. Okay? So, next. Simplify. 4 minus 2 is, of course, 2. 2 plus 4 is 6. And then, get the square of the two terms. We have 2 times 2, that's 4. 6 times 6, that's 36. Then, 4 plus 36 is square root of 40. 4 2 square root of 4. Or you may also want to uh, transform this into its equivalent decimal form. So, nasa inyo na kung ano yung gusto, na, gusto nyong form. And the decimal form is 6.32. Now, let's have another example. Find the center of the circle if the endpoints of its diameter are 5, 2, and 4, negative 3. Okay, yung center natin, so ang gagag, since yung diameter ang given, the end points of the diameter, pag kinuha natin yung center, gagamitin natin yung midpoint formula. Okay, kasi center. Okay, the midpoint formula, we have x sub 2, so ito yung formula natin for hk. 
So, i-add lang natin yung x and then yung y. Okay, so let's try. So, yung h natin, dalawang x, 5 and 4. Then, yung y naman natin, that's 2, negative 3. Okay, plus lang natin. Then, we'll come up with 5 plus 4, of course, 9 all over 2. Yung k natin, 2 minus 3 is negative 1. Okay, negative 1 all over 2. So, the center is 9 all over 2 and negative 1 half. Okay? So, ito yung magiging sagot natin pagka hindi na siya pwedeng isimplify pa. Okay? Next, find the center and radius of a circle if the endpoints of its diameter are negative 2, 3, and 4, negative 5. Okay, so center muna tayo. So, since the endpoints of the diameter are given, so gagamitin natin the midpoint formula again. So, that's negative 2 plus 4 and 3 minus or plus negative 5. Then divide both by 2. So, negative 2 plus 4, that's 2 all over 2. Then 3 plus negative 5 all over 2. Uh, 3 plus negative 5 is negative 2 all over 2. Then simplify. 2 divided by 2 is 1. Negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. So, since meron na tayong center, pwede natin siyang kunin yung radius. Gagamitin natin yung hk. Okay? And then, kuha tayo ng isang point dito. So, in this video, kukunin natin ito as our xy. So, pwede rin naman gamitin ito. Okay? So, same lang yung magiging length ng radius natin. Okay, so for the meantime, ito na muna. Okay, using our formula, square root of uh, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared. So then let's just add the truth. Yung x natin is negative 2. Ayan, yung h natin is 1. So minus pa rin yun ha, kahit positive yun kasi yung formula natin na minus. Plus, yung y natin is 3. So we have 3 minus minus. K natin is negative 1. So, we have negative 1 squared. Simplify. So, negative 3 minus 1, that's negative 3 squared plus 3. Ito. Pagka meron tayong ganyan, magiging plus 1. Okay? So, we magiging plus. Next, um, simplify this. 3 plus 4, of course, 4. Then, let's copy that. Then, simplify again. Negative 3 squared is negative 3 times negative 3. That's positive 9. 4 times 4, that's 16. Next, 9 plus 16 is we have 25, and the square root of 25 will give us 5. Okay? Now, pause this video to answer this problem. The endpoints of the diameter of a circle are 3 and 4 and negative 5, negative 3. How long is the diameter and radius? Where is the center located? Now, Put your answer in the comment box below. Thank you for listening. God bless everyone.